All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks, listen, I'm not one of those uploaders who I upload videos and I can't tell you, hey, I actually got that one wrong. I, I'm not that person. I can't do it. But, you know, now, when you guys come to troll now, you need to remember what I said. You need to remember what I said because I said that I think Amanda Lemos could win this fight, but that don't mean she will win the fight against Leslie Smith. Amanda Lemos is one of those fight to eat fighters. I mean, yeah, that's just how she is, okay? And I think that she took the best advantage that she could of her opportunity, you know? And guys, you can't tell me that Leslie went in here and dominated this girl. I told y'all this was going to be a tough fight. I tried to tell y'all. This was a tough fight. Look, man, she dropped Leslie Smith twice with leg kicks. Now, with all that being said, she didn't have the stamina in this fight. I wonder why. I wonder why she didn't have the stamina. Let, let me think. Could it be because she didn't have full training camp? Now, this is not to say, you know, Leslie Smith didn't get the job done. Because Leslie Smith did what she was supposed to do. And I think Leslie Smith would have got rid of, I think she would have got Lena Landsberg out of there faster. I mean, that's just my opinion, okay? Leslie Smith did exactly what you're supposed to do to somebody who take a fight on short notice. You're supposed to stop them. And that's what she did. I cannot go back on that. But this was a tough fight. Oh, this was a tough fight. It was a tough fight for her. See, this girl didn't have the cardio stamina to deal with Leslie Smith. But if she had the cardio stamina to deal with Leslie Smith, this fight would have been a totally different story. And I'm just telling y'all. I'm just trying to tell y'all. If this girl had the cardio, she ain't had no cardio. She gassed out. Y'all can see that. They don't take a, a rocket science to see that, you know, Amanda Lemos, she gassed the hell out. <laughs> and when you gas out, I don't care how much power you got, you ain't got no cardio, you ain't got stamina, you ain't got power. Because if your heart can't get the blood to everywhere in, 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 in a timely fashion, you don't have any more power. You're helpless. That's just like saying, you know, if you put me in there with Cain Velasquez, and if Cain Velasquez is tired, and he come to me huffing and puffing, do you know an average man could whoop Cain Velasquez's ass if he ain't got no, if he can't breathe? Like if he literally gasping for air and you can't breathe, a common man could whoop your ass if you're a fighter. Folks, that's just how it is, okay? When you have no stamina, you don't have no fight. And the girl ran out, y'all can see, that girl ran out of stamina. But you see in the opening rounds, she was giving Leslie Smith a lot of problems. And the reason why I said that I think that Amanda uh, Amanda Lemos could win this fight, see, I said it. Listen to the video. I said, I think that she's going to defeat Leslie Smith, but that don't mean that she will defeat Leslie Smith. And I said that clearly, okay? And the reason why I said that was because of the issue with the short notice. And when you take a fight on short notice, a lot of times the fighters don't, they don't have the cardio because it's short notice. And Amanda Limo, she knew what she was getting into. She knew. It wasn't like, you know, she was going to say, well, no. No, because, you know, what does everybody, what does everybody go? Everybody wants to be in the UFC. Everybody. Okay? And they don't care. The UFC don't care if you ain't trained in five months or six months. Look, if they want you to fight, they want you to fight. And here's the thing, too, for fighters. You know? See, y'all need to be like Valentina Shevchenko. Because when they call Shevchenko in for a short notice fight, she was already in shape. That's because she trains year round. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be ready to fight if you're a fighter. Okay? And I'm just saying. And this ain't saying anything bad about Amanda. I ain't saying nothing bad about Leslie. I'm just saying, you know, Leslie Smith did exactly what she was supposed to do. She was supposed to go in there and stop somebody who took this fight on short notice. Okay? Amanda Lemos did exactly what, you know, people thought. That people thought she would lose. But see, people didn't think that she would drop Leslie Smith. She showed some very good things in this fight, man. The girl is skillful. But skill don't matter. If you ain't got stamina, if your opponent got more stamina than you do, and if your opponent can outlast you, okay, if she can outlast you, and then she end up finishing you because you don't have stamina, well, I mean, you're going to lose the fight. People, it's common sense, okay? Not that I didn't see anything. I saw some great things with this Amanda Lemos. And I think the UFC did a good job of actually signing this girl and putting this girl on. I guarantee you her next fight, guarantee you. I, I bet you she's going to come in in tip-top shape. I promise you. And it, it might not be a short-notice fight. And I'm, unfortunately, with the nature of this business, 
a lot of fighters come in in short notice fight. I mean, hell, Cynthia Cavillo did twice. But you see, Cynthia Cavillo already had that mindset like, look, I know they're going to be calling me up soon. So let me expect to be called up. So let me go ahead and really do what I got to do. Let me go train. And Cynthia Cavillo stayed in shape. And that's just, that's a lesson that Amanda Lemos is going to learn. Because I know she's going back to her, you know, her dressing room or wherever she's going. And they probably saying, you know, you had her. You could have beat her. And yes, she could have. Honestly and truthfully, Amanda Lemos can beat Leslie Smith if the cardio was there. That's just how it is. That's just how it is, folks. That's a fact. I'm sorry. It's not an opinion. It, it's what I saw in the fight. But, I mean, it's a lesson learned. It's a lesson learned because Leslie Smith done had to take short notice fights. I mean, hell, we ain't saying nothing new in MMA. We not. Short notice fights happen all the time. That's the nature of this business. People pull out and people have to take fights in short notice. It's not Leslie Smith's fault. Hell, it ain't her fault. <laughs> Leslie Smith won a payday. Leslie Smith won her money. And Leslie Smith went in there and, and whooped some ass. That's what you're supposed to do. Leslie Smith finished her. That's exactly what it is. So it ain't no excuse for Amanda Lima. Yeah, she ran out of cardio. Great. But see, what did you do to counteract that? Did you stay in shape? And the answer for this is no. I see a great future with Amanda Lemos. I see a, a terrific future with this girl because she got the tool sets to be that good. But here go the thing. Now you got to stay in shape. And I guarantee you, what she take away from this fight, I guarantee you, she going to stay in shape. And that, my friends, is just the way that is. Shout out again to the Peacemaker. I'm done.